What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be giving you a full breakdown of both my Trading212 and my Vanguard UK investment portfolios. And the reason for this video is that I know you guys love a good old fashioned portfolio update, but I also wanted to show you guys the good with the bad and give you guys full transparency and show you the overall state of my investment portfolio after about a six week sell off that we've seen largely over tech stocks. Plus I think from showing you guys the two portfolios which are completely different in terms of their overall makeup. We'll give you guys a little bit of a better understanding of both the pros and the cons of investing into diversified funds versus that of individual stock picking. So let's dive into it guys, but before I do so, my name is Mitch. I post all kinds of videos on investing and the stock market. If you do enjoy content like that, hit that big red subscribe button down below as well. Drop a like on the video guys, really, really helps out the channel. And with that being said, let's dive straight into it. So first up, we have the Vanguard UK portfolio, which is valued at £16,985 as at the time of recording in this video and that portfolio has a current return on investment of 45.64 percent now my vanguard uk portfolio as i said is made up of largely diversified funds now those three funds specifically are a 80 percent life strategy fund uk investment grade bonds as well as an s p 500 etf now as you guys know equity markets have certainly been rock somewhat with tech stocks really really taking the biggest beating out of them all albeit over the course of the past few days specifically specifically this week, we've seen a little bit of resurgence in the tech stocks and the stock market on the whole. Thankfully, because Joe Biden has signed another 1.9 trillion US dollar stimulus package, which I believe went through earlier today. But regardless of this, because my Vanguard UK investment portfolio is largely made up of diversified funds with exposure to all different sectors, the actual value of my Vanguard portfolio hasn't changed all that much. From January 26th, when the overall market was roughly at about its peak, my Vanguard UK investment portfolio was valued at £17,023. Now despite all of the volatility that we've been hearing about in the stock market, as I said specifically for tech stocks, this investment portfolio has been pretty plain sailing. With the investment portfolio hitting its absolute lows on the 23rd of Feb when the portfolio was worth just £16,674, before then recovering to what it is today at just shy of £17,000 once again. So give or take a few quid, the portfolio portfolio is roughly down about £50 or so over the course of the past five or six weeks. And it's worthwhile me saying here that's with no additional investments made. So even at the absolute worst of these volatile stock market conditions, the investment portfolio only dropped at its maximum point £349 or the equivalent to about 2%. Now keep those numbers in mind because we're now going to dive into my slightly more aggressive stock picking investment portfolio over on Trading212. So the current value of my Trading212 investment portfolio currently sits at £14,897. So there isn't a huge amount of difference between the value of the Trading212 account and the Vanguard UK account, which makes it slightly more easier to make some more direct comparisons. Now the makeup of this portfolio we'll discuss in just a moment, probably towards the end of the video. But for now, I wanted to just share with you guys the absolute volatility in which I've seen over the course of the past few weeks. So comparing very, very similar dates to that of the Vanguard UK portfolio, portfolio. If we take a look at January 27th, which was the absolute highs that I saw for my Trading212 portfolio, where the total value was £15,514, with a total return of £3,033, or the equivalent to about 24.3%. Now, since then, the portfolio has tanked absolutely massively with the huge, huge sell off across tech stocks with the lows of the portfolio at £14,172 with a return of just £395 or the equivalent of a 2.87% return on investment. Now that is the equivalent to a fall in value of £2,638. Now that's an absolutely huge drop in the overall value of a portfolio, especially in such a short period of time. But as I say, you don't lose unless you sell. And thankfully, the market has started to pick back up over the course of the past few days. So as of right now, with this slight recovery going on, the portfolio sits up about 84 
0.44%, so we certainly have a little bit more breathing room, which is the equivalent to about £1,200. So thinking back about the comparisons made between both Vanguard and Trading 2 on 2, let me flash up the comparisons between them, because there are certainly benefits and drawbacks to each type of investment portfolio. You've got the Vanguard UK portfolio, which is largely made up of those diversified funds, and because of that, it's far less volatile, which can certainly be better for the investor, which has a slightly lower risk tolerance. But arguably, when you reduce the risk and the volatility of an investment portfolio, you also potentially reduce the levels of reward too. Albeit, having said that, over the course of the past three and a half years, which this portfolio has been live for, we have returns on an average annual basis of about 12.8%, which is actually pretty solid returns when you think about it from the stock market on the whole. Now, on the other hand, if you do want slightly more aggressive returns when you're looking to invest in the stock market, but also potentially slightly more volatile returns whilst you're getting them, you could potentially look to go down the stock picking route. But also, obviously, with that, you're going to have to be prepared to see out any kind of big sell-offs in which we're going to potentially see moving forwards. So because of that, the overall valuation of your investment portfolio could potentially fluctuate a hell of a lot more. But despite all of this, it does take a lot more time to research individual stocks as well as do all your due diligence and your homework on those stocks before you look to invest into them. And it certainly can be even more difficult if you're not an experienced investor. So guys, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below what kind of investor you are, whether you're predominantly investing in kind of diversified funds and ETFs, or whether you're going down the individual stock picking route. So I hope a little bit of comparison really helped you guys showing you with full transparency a real investment portfolio or two real investment portfolios with two real rates of returns based on two completely different approaches to investing. Now I'm sure many of you guys are probably waiting for this video to actually see what has gone down in my trading 2 on 2 investment portfolio and actually see the individual stocks and the changes in the overall value of them. So let's dive into that now. So guys, pulling up my trading 212 investment portfolio and breaking down the detail of the individual investments in which I have. First up, we have advanced micro devices, which again today has very much been on the pullback with a 5.36% return as of today. However, for the first time since I've started investing into AMD stock, we actually dipped into the red and we are down 4.26%. And I think at the absolute lows, bear in mind the stock has very much recovered over the course of the past couple of days or so. Uh, we were down at about nearly 9 or 10%, I believe. Whereas if we break down the detail of it, we're actually up on the investment 1%, but the FX impact, we're down about 5%. So not all that great. So the next stock is Amazon, up 0.27%, or just a £6 return on investment. The stock is up about 1.77% today. But nonetheless, a couple of days prior, if I would have recorded this video a couple of days ago, you would have seen some big flashing red numbers over that Amazon position. Then moving on to Apple, which is uh, still up at 9.24% or a total return of £213. Still has certainly sold off quite significantly from, I believe, about $140 per share. Yeah, we were trading at like $143 per share just uh, a couple of weeks prior. Now trading at $122 per share. So nonetheless, we've seen still quite a big sell-off, but at least we're still in the green. Next stock is AstraZeneca. Uh, I kind of banked on this stock, benefiting from the vaccine, and I kind of invested kind of pre uh, the vaccine coming gap, but nonetheless, with the efficiency rates and stuff like that of the vaccine not being that great for AstraZeneca, the stock really hasn't performed all that well, if I'm honest. It's down about 7% or down about £53.31. I think I'm going to continue to hold it for now. Uh, I potentially may look to sell it over the course of the next 6 to 12 months if there really isn't any traction off the back of this vaccine being put out. The next stock we've got is Facebook, which is down about 2.62% or down about 23 quid. Uh, if I'm honest, guys, Facebook stock has actually been pretty much in the red since I first invested in it. Uh, and that's because the stock hasn't been performing all that great over the most recent months, uh, with the stock very much up and down, but very much trading on the downward trend. Nonetheless, over the course of probably the past week or so, we've, we're very much on the upward trajectory now, kind of being at $257 at the start of the week, or uh, you know this time last week, right the way up to about $274 today. The next two stocks are actually all free shares, which I have managed to obtain. Uh, from you guys using the Trading212 affiliate link. So Ford Motor Company is a stock that I just wanted to hold on to. I knew they were stepping into the electric vehicle space, so I thought I would hold on to it and just see what played out. The stock was very much down 
um, over the course if we just max this chart out you can see the stock was very very much down over the course of the most recent years I thought why not I'd hold on to it see if it was able to capitalize on some of the electric vehicle trends in which we seem to be going through and the popularity around the automotive industry currently the stock is up 21 and a half percent up about 95 pounds and 50 pence so I'm just going to continue to hold forward stock if we can kind of get back up to 17 18 pound per share kind of 2014 highs that'd be a really really strong uh, return on investment on the whole the next stock is General Electric now I'm pretty disappointed actually guys because uh, this was one of the stocks which was really really surging whilst the rest of my investment portfolio was falling down however it looks like we've given up pretty much most of those gains over the course of the past um, couple of days or so with the stock being massively down we were up at about $14 per share at one point and now we're down at about $12 per share so in terms of a net return on investment on the whole this was up about 26% a couple of days ago uh, but now it's just 6% but nonetheless gains are gains then we've got Nike again that was a free share I've literally just got the one share which I've just simply held onto so that's still in the green Palantir Technologies guys this was another stock that was down big time just a couple of days ago uh, we dropped to lows of about $22 per share now we're sat just at about break even but nonetheless I'm bullish on Palantir long term so I'm happy to see it just sat at break even at the moment today it was up 7.35% so some phenomenal momentum in Palantir stock currently and hopefully that continues over the course of the coming days ahead Tattooed Chef admittedly is the worst performing stock in my investment portfolio currently as a growth stock play, a very much one in its early phases. And I'm hoping as this company grows in size and scale and hopefully it's able to meet some of its revenue forecasts, which it's set out over the course of the next five years, that we'll see this stock very much head upwards in the right direction. And uh, whilst this is down 15% currently, I'm still optimistic that we could very much see this stock head a hell of a lot higher over the course of the next three to five years. Next up, we've got Tesla. Again, the best performing stock in the portfolio, which has very much come back to life the past few days. Nonetheless, we're still down quite substantially. If I'm honest, guys, we were up uh, with returns of about 130%, I believe, at the absolute peak. Now down just uh, to just 45% return on investment. But nonetheless, still a very solid return on the whole. Market's up about 4% today. I think we were up about 15 or 20% the day before. So again, somewhat some resurgence there for Tesla's stock. Then we've got the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, which again uh, is up 15%. Can't complain. Just an element of diversification within this element of the investment portfolio on the whole. And then Verizon, if I'm honest, guys, it's the stock which I invested in when I very first opened the portfolio and then never invested into it again. It's down 9.3%. If I'm honest, when this gets back up to positive territory, I will more than likely sell my shares in Verizon and look to reinvest them elsewhere. So that is, guys, a very full and in-depth investment portfolio update in terms of where we are currently. In probably about a week or two's time, I will do another investment portfolio update and actually make some live investments in that video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And with that being said, I'll see you over in the next video.